Hi guys, I'm Rick Crawley with Achilles Heel Tactical and welcome back to this UF Pro series of Carbine Fundamentals. In this episode, we'll be covering my performance on demand based standard, the man card, both short and long card. All right guys, we're gonna run the man card drill. This is the short card standard. It's a five iteration performance on demand based standard at 25 yards on a C-zone size of target. Now at 25 yards with these five iterations, we're gonna be focusing on measuring your guys' skill set and abilities, performance on demand skill set and abilities. All right, so the first one's going to be a compressed ready, finger straighten off the trigger, compressed position. You're going to on signal, drive straight out and break one round on steel at 25 yards in one second. You get two attempts at every iteration of these five standards. All right, so the next one's going to be from holster, any level retention draw or from concealment, 1.5 seconds. Hand off the gun, you can have a contact reference point with your forearm on the mag wheel as I will. You will drive straight up on auditory signal and one round on steel. C-zone size of target in 1.5 seconds. Again, two attempts. The next one is going to be rifle, low ready, in the pocket of the shoulder, downward angle at a 45. On auditory stimulus, you're going to drive straight up and one round. Next one's going to be high ready. Again, one second, one round. On that auditory signal, you're gonna drive straight out, one round. All right, the last iteration is gonna be one transition one in 2.5 seconds. You'll take that empty magazine, it's actually loaded into the gun, and it'll be one rifle at any ready position, whether that was the low or high. Any ready position, you'll snap up, one, transition, one, 2.5 seconds. After you complete all five iterations of this drill, if you have done it accountably, you will retain your man card. All right, so I'm gonna hand each of you a tangible man card. And at the end of these five iterations, if you successfully complete all five under time with 100% accountability, with two attempts at each iteration, you'll get to keep that, you've earned it for life. I can never take it away from you. After you earn your short card in an Achilles heel tactical class or event, that is your admit one ticket now to the long card. All right, so for the first iteration, the compressed ready, feel free to stage your rifle on the ground or have it slung to you. Check sights, press checks are free. From compressed ready, finger straighten off the trigger. One second C-zone steel. Eight two. And again, you get two attempts at each iteration of this short card. So in a class, when I'm on the range, whatever, if I nail it the first time, I want to see succession within my performance. I want to see repeatable performance on demand. So set it up again. Seven, six. Next iteration, 1.5 from any level retention holster, from concealment, whether the lights are on, off, or even under nods, 1.5 seconds, C-zone steel. One, one, eight. Again, I want to see succession in my performance on demand, repeatable performance. One, two, zero, one, two, zero. All right, after the draw, we are now going to pick up our rifles. Low ready, one second. Low ready, downward angle, 45 degrees. One second, C-zone steel, 25 yards. Eight, three. Repeatable performance. Seven, seven. Moving to high ready. High ready, out of the pocket of the shoulder, underneath the arm, not looking through the rifle or through an obstruction over top of the rifle. One second. Eight, eight. Repeatable performance on demand. Nine, one. All right, in the fifth and final iteration, one transition, one, 2.5 seconds. You're gonna take that empty mag, tack reload it into the gun. One rifle, any ready position, you're gonna snap up. One rifle, transition, one pistol, 2.5 seconds. Everyone understand? All right. All right, that one was in a nine, 199. Setting it up again. 
All right, this time I'm gonna go from a high ready. All right, that one was in a 229. The man card drill, if you fail it every attempt, there's two attempts at each. If you fail every iteration, it was six rounds with rifle, six rounds with pistol. So extremely low round count performance on demand based standards for the short card. All right, the long card is 14 iterations. That's what we're gonna hit up next. So the long card version of the man card drill, there's 14 iterations within this card. 14 performance on demand based standards done at 25 yards with a C-zone size of target, both rifle and pistol. Within these 14 iterations, you will have two attempts at each, and at any time you fail after your second attempt, I will take that card. Once you've earned your short card, you've earned it for life. What's been earned can't be taken from you. So that every time you come and take a class, you can use and show that card as your admit one ticket to attempt the long card again. Okay, so just like the short card, I'm gonna demonstrate the long card. Any standard that I come up with is just understand it's a new baseline. It's a new milestone for me within my journey. All right, so swing around here. All right, at the same distance of 25 yards, C-Zone Steel. The same five iterations that were in the short card are still incorporated into the long card. The first one being that compressed ready in one second. Eight, seven. All right, 1.5 from holster. One, two, two. Next one, clock positions, draw. 1.5 seconds at all clock positions. Shooters look, turn, move, face to the right. Now, with the clock positions, your belt line has to be in the direction that I give you. You can still have your refined sight picture down range. 1.5 seconds, stand by. One, two, eight. All right, face up range. Looking over your non-dominant side shoulder. Having your hips oriented up range, 1.5 seconds. One, four, two. All right, looking left. Hips oriented left, refinement of sight picture, dominant side. One, three, five. All right, the next one's going to be reloads. Working that reload. So take an empty mag, attack reload it into the gun, setting yourself up for a one reload one, three seconds. One reload one, three seconds. Now this is done in the frame of reference of the target. Two, eight, zero, two, eight, zero. All right, next one's gonna be rifle low ready, one second. Eight, seven. Next one, high ready. One second. Eight, six. Now, clock positions. Clock positions with the rifle, any ready position of your choosing. Turn right, hips oriented right, refined sight picture down range. Nine, seven. Next is face up range. Hips oriented up range, looking over non-dominant side shoulder. Nine, nine. All right, next, face left. Eight, nine. Next one's going to be, take that empty mag, one reload one, three seconds. One reload one, three seconds, any ready position. Two, six, five. All right, next, take that empty magazine, back reload it into the gun, setting yourself up for that one transition one, 2.5 seconds. Any ready position. All right, 203. And the 14th, the final iteration. Attack, reload, and empty mag into the gun. Setting yourself up for a one, transition one, attack, reload, pistol, stow pistol, and mag away. 
Recover rifle, reload rifle, one. A full all-inclusive check drill in eight seconds. Six seventy-nine. Again, like we've demonstrated in this episode, in order to receive a man card, the short card, you have to attend an Achilles heel tactical course, do it in front of me, in front of a body of students, while you have that psychological controlled stress variable of all eyes on you, performing on demand. After you successfully earn your short card, you can then come back to me and have an attempt for the long card. The long card is 14 iterations. 14 long iterations to include the same five. It's done at the same size of target, at the same distance from target, with the individual skill set that they come to me with. All right, guys, this concludes this UF Pro series of carving fundamentals. I hope this series has provided you value within your training. I'm Rick Crawley with Achilles Heel Tactical, and I hope to see you all again.